so empty without me. Now this looks like a job for me. So just to go through this case, this patient had a T11, T12 complete ligamentous injury, as well as a complete break across his entire inner space. Um, basically, he was not wearing a seatbelt and he was partially ejected out the sunroof of his vehicle and then the car rolled over with him in it, um, which basically broke his body in half. It's a very devastating injury. He came in completely paralyzed. So the role of surgery here is more just to salvage and reattach his spine for the recovery process and for the rehabilitation process. His MRI scan showed complete disruption and ligation of the spinal cord at the level of the fracture. So this is a very, very dangerous injury. Intraoperatively, what we did was we placed screw fixation at several segments above and below the patient's injury in order to realign and stabilize this. And you can see where we got great reduction of his fracture. However, the level of the injury was quite severe. He had completely disrupted his spinal cord uh, and tore it in half. So we actually had to repair that um, so there would not be a spinal fluid leak. Uh, he did well, he went to rehab. He has not regained function of his lower extremities and continues to live life in a wheelchair. Um, spinal cord injury is something I hold near and dear to my heart as I've gone through this personally with my mother. So the moral of the story is really just make sure you wear your seatbelt. Hope you guys learned from this. Let me know if there's any other questions or any content like this that you'd like to see in the future.